Hey folks, welcome back to Valhalla. Okay, so we come back from our break and it feels like we're having a good day. And it feels like Jill's having a good day and she's feeling actually kind of good. So let's see if we can keep this up and see if we can still keep having a good time, yeah? Maybe we'll see some friends today. I wonder if I left food for four. Hmm. And we'll keep this for now. Oh, hey you. Okay, I'm here. Uh, uh, Dorothy? Oh no, what's wrong? You won't get through the bar- through the bar anytime soon, you can stop walking. Oh, uh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Us usual usual oh. I wonder what's wrong with her. I mean, okay, wait. See, again, it's been a long time, because there was a gap in my recordings, so I'm not sure. But didn't we hear something about, um, Lilim's being hacked or something like that? And so I don't really know how much that's interfering with, like, their functions, whether it's emotional or their communication or whatever, but... Okay, well, anyway, we know that she likes piano women, right? Maybe that'll bring her back down to Earth. Yeah. That could be a comfort to her. Okay, all aged. And mixed. Here. This is nice. Nice, uh, nice? N nice? Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey, how do you know it's real? Uh, how so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Uh, oh, I'm in the bar. I am, am I? Dorothy. Yeah, I don't like this at all. So you're having a solipsistic crisis of sorts. Solip what? Sol Solipsism, the theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that that's another thing right there, the word, that word. Solipsism, what does it even mean? Where the hell did it even come from? Well, solace means alone, and ipsy means self. Yes, but... How did it come to be? Did you expect me to, to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this? It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they stopped making sense. Why? Hey, calm down. There's just semantic satiation. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's that, this counter. How can I be sure this counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. <laughs> Hold on, just making sure. This is not like her at all. What the hell? I should make her a drink. Okay, well, she liked the piano woman. Should we just keep doing that? Um. Wait a minute. Let, let me look at the bottle drinks one more time. Who likes rum? Okay, because I know that Dana might like rum, I think that Alma might like rum. Does Dorothy like rum? Maybe she would enjoy this? I'm not really sure. Stop typing the counter so much. I am this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? I mean, yeah, if this is what we're going with, then maybe rum is the best, uh... <laughs> is the best thing for the occasion. Uh, since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with my... With my guardian. Oh. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from, from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. I mean, actually, yeah, we saw you last at the Christmas party. And you were fine, I think. 
and out of nowhere the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? Well, what if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. Oh, Jill, I don't know if this is helping. Yeah, uh... I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but... I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What'd you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World. One of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things. The story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Yeah, no, I, I definitely do this with um, fictional worlds too. Even if I am a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, and at least. It, it wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, <laughs> what the- <laughs> What? <laughs> Just her fucking face. Oh my god. Phew. <laughs> why, did, why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. And, um... It burns. Manages a bit. I'll get you a towel. Oh wait, I think we know what this is. Um, a delivery for Dana Z- Oh, I've been here before. Oh yeah, this fucking guy, yeah. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Wh who's that? She's my boss. I'll get, her for I'll get it for her. Right, uh, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's, something, if it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a- uh, well... Excuse me? It's a wiener? A re- oh. A really big wiener. No, don't. Hey, honey. Hmm. That big package had a big wiener inside. Okay, guys, really? Are we, we're, oh, we're doing this now? I mean, I guess this of all things would bring Dorothy back to Earth, so, you know, whatever. What will your boss do with such a thing? Oh, we're gonna drag this out now? Ugh, oh, God. I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it? Honey. Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Stop this? What are we, 12? <laughs> Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? Leave me alone. Fuck you, game. Uh, seriously, Jill. She's the one making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Like I'm 12, yeah. Anyway, all we know if we dare cook this without her, without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Huh. He might have another delivery, you know? This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. All of a sunshine cloud. Oh yeah, he's like unashamed of um, ordering girly drinks. Good for him. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud it is. Okay. Direct to the point. Yeah, girly and soft. Hmm. Glad to know that he's more confident in himself these days. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, that's fine. On the rocks and blended. Here. 
Thanks. Hey, uh... Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Well, glad to know that she's feeling better. Uh, yeah, Dorothy. Oh, yeah, but... Nice. Why did you... <laughs> Why'd you buy me a drink? Just to let you know I don't swing that way. Right, I just remembered that, yeah. What way, Lulu? Uh, I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you, I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see honey of here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. Oh. <laughs> that made me happy and... I don't know. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. Oh. I'm more calm than when I entered. Uh, glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. <laughs> Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. <laughs> Out with you. <laughs> she seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the Motor District? I spend all my free time in the Motor District, district actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there's a race going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. Oh, Christ. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker in it called Christine Love? Oh, right, we read about this in the news. Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is, what about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Uh, nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but the truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that gets beaten up, beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So, her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. Do you want anything else? All of a piano man. All right. Piano man for Mario. Hmm. You know, it is good to see him again. I do wonder if we'll see more of his story, although we are kind of reaching the end, so who knows, right? Here. Yeah, this is nice. This will sound weird, but... Do you believe in Replobots? Uh, Replobots? There's the belief that some Lilim out there are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. Oh, that's kind of creepy. That someone or something replaces those humans with such Lilim. Thus they call them Replobots. You know a lot about this. I don't, it's, most, it's in most magazines nowadays. Oh, is this like a, a conspiracy theory or something? Like, not actually confirmed yet? Oh. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. And I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. And he was there the whole time. Maybe it was someone that looked like him? He had the same looks, clothes, and, and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see one. And you saw the kid Lilum there. They could easily pass off as humans. There are even Lilum idol singers nowadays whose voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as human under our very own noses, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I, I really doubt it. Lilum behavior is a bit different. You can easily tell someone's a Lilum because they seem... How do I put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risks with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. I'm leaving. Thanks for everything. 
God, that better not be a hint or something, right? Like, that's just a conspiracy theory we're going with? Okay, please come again. What's your take on this Rapplebot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. Well, when I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. You know, what, what would I do then? And I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. But I'm a simple woman, I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. So I'd rather live without being afraid. Because the memories of not being afraid will be my only solace when the Nuvali crabs invade. I mean, uh, you know, when the Repplebots come, whatever. Jill, are you still afraid of aliens? What part of it's useless to be afraid did you catch? Right. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered I have the same sense of humor as an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Oh, Hey. <laughs> they brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. Oh. It's a gift for my folks. It's delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? Oh, no. Jill, stop that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good to see her laughing, so it's okay. Huh, that's a new one. <laughs> oh, alright. Okay, so we are getting, like, a lot more money than we did. Okay, I, you know what? At this rate, we will be fine for the 10,000, right? Yeah, we'll be okay, because we have, we have a few more days, right? Okay. Jill wonders if Maniki Nekos actually bring her luck. Wait, I thought we already bought one, didn't we? Uh, you've been chuckling since yesterday. Ha! <laughs> Wiener. <laughs> God damn it, Jill. Okay. They say these bring luck, but it's paws broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Nah. We can take a chance, right? Wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's read the news before we go. Shall we? Anything new? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Anyway. <laughs> that bar called Valhalla, who's writing about us? Is it any good? Need a place to unwind? Wait, no we're not. We're not a dick, what? How so? Is she cute? She she is cute. Ha, huh. but I think she's full of herself. Okay, well. Please chill meet new people. Can you smoke there? Okay, well, you know what? I'm cute. And, uh, that's fine. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> what else is left for us? Okay. Ooh, first space colony plans to de develop its own army. Oh yeah, Alice Rabbit. We haven't heard that in a while either. Weird. Okay. Huh. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control of the population. I mean, is that true? And will we ever find out who Alice Rabbit is at this point? Who's doing this? <laughs> Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody's surprised. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, we... we it's about time we had, like, a, you know, a more, a more fun, lighthearted headline, I guess. I mean, yeah, people marry Lilim, people marry other things, I guess, so I... I guess if you marry a pillow in the future, no one's gonna care. Weird. Yeek, the final remaster leads the video game charts. This is the third final this year. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I scrolled to the bottom. That was funny. Okay. Well, get that. That's kind of it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So at this rate, I'm sure we'll definitely pay our bills. 
so that's nice to know. And I'm excited for this party still. And to, like, see more of Stella and say, because they've really grown on me and all that. Okay, but anyway. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.